Gogo Escothony has dispelled any rumors that may have been true and has given her word that she will locate spouse number two in accordance with the guidance of her forebears. Because of the unique nature of the occasion that Patricia Tumi Matsunang, popularly known as Gogo Escothony, is organizing, she has chosen to travel a path that is less frequently traveled. In the second episode of her unscripted television program, Gogo Escothony, the lively Sengoma learned that her ancestors want her to marry a suitable life partner and that they are depending on her to do it. She announced the news today on her Facebook page, saying that she will adhere to the customs of her ancestors and marry a different guy, despite Mon Shanj being her best friend and the most famous person she knows. It is obvious that her supporters were not the only people who found this upsetting, but the fact that it generated chaos is still important to note. One of the things that has me scratching my head is why someone with a male soul, like you, would not need a marriage if they needed a life companion. To the best of my knowledge, if you have a masculine spirit, you are not permitted to make any attempt to get married. This is what I have been told. I'm struggling to organize, questioned Pearl Masuku.